Hey Taurus, welcome to your August singles reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. So if you haven't been to one of my singles readings before, these are the shortest readings that I do. What I do is pull two different energies that you could be dealing with during this time period. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. Okay. First person Taurus could be a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. Um, so there's something with this person where the timing might be bad for you guys. For whatever reason, it seems like there's a lot of obstacles and challenges in the way with you guys. It might have something to do with your job, like this might be a coworker and it might not be okay or something, or they could be already dealing with someone else, or they might think that you are. Either way, there's, there's some issues with a lot of obstacles here. Let's see what that's about. Scorpio here now. They could be ending something with someone and it's not fully ended yet. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so they could be, maybe they just ended something or maybe they're in the process of ending something and they're just, they kind of just want to be single for a little while. But why are they coming up here? What is their deal? Oh my goodness. Half the deck. All right, let's see. Why are they showing up here? If they just wanna be single, what is it that they want? Oh my gosh, okay. So it might be that they have these feelings for you, but there's these challenges along the way. So they feel like they have to tell you how they feel, like they have to express their feelings, but they're not ready to commit because of whatever else is going on in their life. Like I said, like, it's like they want you to know how they feel, but understand that, that it's not the right time for it right now. Doesn't mean they don't feel it though. So there's that, all right? Um, next person, potentially a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there's some drama, some competition with this one, so let's see why. Oh, it's, it's the speed. So they might want to move really fast. You might want to take it slow. They have a lot of attraction for you. A lot of excitement. Non-committal. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you want to take it slow because you're looking for something real. You're looking for an actual commitment. And I'm not saying that they're not, but they're more looking for something that's attraction-based right now might be this, this same person. Um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, I don't know why they're acting this way. It could be a Leo. Um, they don't have the confidence that it takes to actually commit to someone. Commitment scares them, but they do have emotion, they do have feelings for you, and they have a lot of attraction. But what's gonna become problematic for you guys is the speed. They're gonna wanna jump right in, but not to commit, just to make it physical. Um, and it's not even necessarily that they don't want commitment, it's that it terrifies them. They don't feel like they can do that. All right, how do you feel about this person? How will you feel about this person? Oh, there's your own energy. They could be another Taurus. You feel like exactly how they're showing you. You feel like they're non-committal. You feel like they don't want to commit. You guys don't want the same things as far as long-term commitment. That's how you see them. And you're right. It just might not be for the reasons that you think. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys take care. I will talk to you later.